good morning. So once again, my lovely Dan's going off trail camming. So what does that mean? I'm flogging. <laughs> Get over to his channel, by the way. What's it called? Trail Cam Dan. Do really well on your subbies. So you go and have some fun, darling. Sorted. See Sorted. You later. Bye. Yeah. Have fun. Love you. He's got his beer. He's happy. <laughs> keep your phone on. <laughs> I always tell him keep his phone on just in case an emergency, you know, and stuff like that. So in the meantime, I haven't really got a lot to do, to be quite honest. I'm going to take you in. Although saying that, it's getting midday and the, the dinner I've got planned today it's going to take quite a few hours, so I might do a little bit of cooking on this vlog as well, but it's not its not going to be all cooking. <clears throat> so, let's get some saucepans out. Alright, so I think I'm going to need the two. Where's my lid for that one? So today we're going all Irish. We're having... Oh no, I'll tell you what, I was going to do the bacon and cabbage, but I'll tell you what, I'm not actually. No, nope. I'm going to make Dan, he's trying to stick to this healthy business this week, I'm going to make Dan tuna bake. He would love that, he would love that. Right, let me find the ingredients that I need. I know I have a sachet up here in this cupboard somewhere. So there's a sachet. <laughs> I know you can make all this from scratch. I'm no expert. Right, let's put the saucepans back. I'm guessing I'm probably going to need two cans of tuna. So I don't need my hob actually, do I? Put my hob back. <laughs> yeah, well, again, I wasn't going to vlog now while Dan went off today. I don't know. Just get into the tidy stage and. When he goes now, I just feel like it's my time to relax. <laughs> but it's okay because I've got a, I've got a, um, I've got to cook anyway. So right, yeah. Actually, I do have to. Oh, I need my sauce, but now I've got to parboil that at least, don't I? Yep. Let's parboil the pasta. I do prefer the egg pasta, the fresh one. It's a lot quicker saves on your gas and everything it's a lot easier no i'm not on the baileys <laughs> matter of fact i haven't had a baileys for uh, months and months and months and months and months <sighs> yeah it saves on a lot of gas and everything by um just doing quick pasta as well and it's a lot better saying that actually i was looking at a pasta machine apparently i think it's amazon that does it you can make your own pasta and I've always, always wanted to make my own pasta. So, <laughs> right, let me just bring it down. So to get my proportions correct, what I'm gonna do is, so that's the sachet I've got. I still don't even actually know what I need to do. Uh, oh, I need some milk. Sweet corn, nah, Dan ain't bothered about sweet corn. I need breadcrumbs. Okay, I might actually have some breadcrumbs, so I'm going to fill it up like that. Yeah, it's going to take the whole bag. Right, brilliant. So that ain't wasted. Let's get this on the boil. Personally for me, I like a, like a carbonara kind of a pasta, cheese and bacon, cheese and ham kind of thing. But let's go with it. There we go. So Dan is actually still doing really well of just having home cooked meals this week. Um, oh, I need to get some tuna. Hold on, let me get that on the go. Yeah, Dan's still doing really well in um, doing home cooked meals this week. And today now, we've got a shopping coming tomorrow. Although we've still got the Irish uh, bacon and cabbage to do. But... Um, He's put all the ingredients for homemade pizza because we've got a pizza oven coming. I think it's coming today. So as long as it's homemade, I don't mind, you know? So, yep, he's gone for all that today. And actually, 
<laughs> and actually it's costed us, what is it cost? About 40 quid to make a pizza each for me, Dan and Neil. There might be leftovers obviously to maybe get another pizza out of it. So it's not, you know, it's not terrible. But still, it's going to be cheaper than a takeaway, isn't it? You know, and a lot, lot better. Now back in the day, with my family and stuff, we used to have pizza night and that. And they were lovely. I used to love making homemade pizzas. So yeah, that's going to be really nice. I did start off actually. Oh no, oh no. I really don't like um, tuna juice all over the place. Yeah. I did start off with my shopping list of buying a wrap of doing it because you can actually make pizzas like on like a flat wrap basically on a wrap and they turn out amazing but then I did then opt swap swap that for actual homemade dough so which is going to be nice it's going to be a treat night for me because I have been trying to watch what I eat and stuff and it's going to be a treat night for me just as much as for Dan so gonna be nice I think two cans of tuna is gonna be fine I don't have sweet corn anyway can't remember the last time I've ever ever bought sweet corn for the fact that Danny it's just I don't think he's a big fan yeah I just don't think he's a big fan of it now a little fun fact <laughs> now this is going to sound crazy <laughs> well you all probably know anyway you know me by now I like I love corn on the cob but I hate sweet corn. How strange is that? <laughs> now, I'm not the only one actually in my family like that. I'm sure I've got a feeling my brother's like that, but I'm not the only one. Anyway, I have heard of people uh, with the same fear. I have a fear of it. I don't know. It's just, it. I don't know. I don't know what it is when I see that sweet corn all loose like that. It just makes me wretch. But when it's on the corn on the cob, yeah, it's lovely. Am I the only one? Let me know down in the comments. Do you like sweet corn or sweet corn on the cob? <laughs> right, okay. So on this, it's saying to cook your pasta. I'm trying to cut down and washing up here. <laughs> and I've only got one hob working anyway. So I'm going to cook the pasta, put it in the dish and then add this sachet to the saucepan that I've just used and um, add some milk and bring it to the boil and then just then that's your sauce basically so I think in the meantime I will get this um, tuna all kind of chopped up I say chopped up if you know what I mean I'm sorry I'm trying to adjust the camera <laughs> right oh can I hear someone no, I thought I heard someone. Right, so I'm going to get this tuna all kind of crumbled up in here. Now, cheap tuna is fine. I know some people have a lot of fear of like you can get odd black bits and stuff like that but you can just pick them out but honestly that's fine nothing wrong with that and this is literally just a cheap 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 one of the that's not even Tesco's brand actually that's Morrison Sabres that one. Oh, so that means I'm mixing tuna I shouldn't have done that <laughs> uh, won't matter will it yeah so this one now is Tesco's tuna Let's see if we can tell the difference. Oh man, look, you can't even tell the difference. <laughs> it's going to be fine. Yeah, I think two cans of this is going to be plenty, isn't it? I think Dan's going to like this. Now, what would you have with this? Should I put a potato on for him in the oven? I don't know whether to do that. Do you have potato substitute garlic bread that's what i'm gonna do i've got some frozen garlic bread that needs using yeah i'll do that right i'm just gonna break these bigger lumps and talking of cheap i've always told you and i won't tell you again well i do i can always keep telling you don't i right that's mixed ready for the pasta and stuff 
Where's my garlic bread? Always, always. Now I've actually, I'm going to be honest, I've watched a review on garlic bread or by these like foodie people and they test foods and stuff like that. And they're like, oh, the cheap one's rubbish and the good ones, the middle range is, you know, this and the cheap, cheap, cheap one you can get. It's absolutely fine. It's the way you cook it. It's literally the way you cook it. So, get my little frying pan out ready for that. Now, you add a bit of blood, uh, a bit of butter to this. Now, I do actually have lure pack, which I would usually use, or... I could today, just specially, yeah, which I might do, use this. This is brilliant stuff, garlic lure pack. Always have a packet of that in your fridge. You can make your own garlic bread, like let's say if you've got like a leftover hard baguette from the next day, you know, you bought it fresh yesterday or something and the family's left half of it. Put some of that on it, <laughs> it's fine. You've got garlic bread, that's all it is. But I think I might have to leave that to defrost a little bit, actually. Yep, so that's what he's going to have. A tuna bake and a garlic bread. Do you know, I feel I haven't stopped talking. <laughs> I need to come up for air. Yeah, so anyway, get the cheap as you can. Put a big knob of butter in there. Usually I just use, use the lure pack. But let's just go with some garlic lure pack today. Let's just see how... That, actually, that's probably too big, but... I've got it now. <laughs> right, so I've just got to wait for the pasta to cook, um, which is going to take literally four, three minutes. That's what I'm talking about. You know, you're not wasting gas. Right, I did actually cut that butter in half. It was just too much. I felt it was just too much. So I've got the... Um, garlic bread now all in the pan ready to, to fry off basically you're frying this okay I've tried baking it and everything and it just it just does it depends how you like it some people like that it depends what consistency you like but I kind of like it like especially if you've got a griddle pan a proper like you know what's that bumpy yeah I think it's a griddle pan is it <laughs> like a steak pan where you get the lines on it they're really good. When I go to Dan's mum's and I do like homemade lasagna and that, she has one big sort of square pan like that and all the garlic bread I do in that and it comes out amazing. Right, so there's nothing I can do now for three minutes. This is boiling, it's starting to boil. Let's turn this down. I'm gonna just open the lid a little bit so it don't overflow. Let's turn that down that's not on the go I'm going to be doing that shortly and Neil's head trimming today right this stage is done so I'm just going to mix the pasta it's all drained <laughs> I'm beginning to think my tub might not be big enough but I forgot it expands <laughs> it's a lot of tuna that's the whole point, I suppose, isn't it? Tuna pasta. He'll like all that anyway. I suppose I could have put a third in, really. But we'll see how it goes. I need to kind of flip it about. Let's get the rest in. I'm not wasting none. <laughs> right, so I'm now going to use this saucepan to make the sauce. Just saves on washing up and stuff like that so to say oh I dropped one let's try and mix this so I do know Dan's actually going to be a while he's just texted and said oh he's got some good results over there basically so I'm not going to tell you what or whatever and um, so he's going to be a while <laughs> so I'm really happy for him bless him that's really good. Oh, he's really enjoying his little hobby at the moment. Can't seem to quite mix this properly. My bowl ain't big enough. Oh, I'm making a right mess. Oh, 
Right, I'm beginning to think that might be mixed quite well. Oh no, I've still got to do the sauce, haven't I? <laughs> right, so what I will do then is make the sauce and then probably tip all that into there so I can mix it properly. Right, let's get this up and cooking. Right, tip that in. Now some people are like, oh, they don't like proper cooking in the vans, but in the motorhomes. I'll tell you what, you can do some real good easy meals in a motorhome. It's just putting your mind to it. Um, it's not that hard really to make a pasta bake or a lasagna or something and to be honest it's not even that hard to make a Sunday roast it's just whether you can be bothered to or not right so it says just mix a tiny bit of milk to get all the like that get it all mixed right there we go now add more milk that's what it says see it smells really oh I forgot to take the lid off <laughs> smells really tomatoey I'm not a very tomatoey girl well I'm not actually if I'll be quite honest right let's get the heat on that yeah I'm not a big fan of tomato sauces it's like proper Heinz tomato sauce like as a condiment you know I absolutely can't bear it have a phobia of it but saying that I then would have it like on a burger or a hot dog if we were at a firework night, let's say. <laughs> I know, I'm weird, it doesn't make sense. Right, so I've put that much milk in at the moment. Just see how that goes. I think that's going to need a lot more. Now, I haven't got the second sachet of this, so I hope that's actually going to be enough, just the one. Right, and it just says bring that up to the boil, pour it on. And then grate my cheese and bung it in the oven. But what I will do is grate the cheese and bung it in the oven when Dan gets back. I don't actually have a lot of cheese, if I'm honest. But it's lasted well. I've got about that much left. It should be enough. All right, this is going to seem silly because I was trying to save on washing up, wasn't I? But I'm actually going to spot pans. I'm going to pour this into my bigger pan. <laughs> so I've ended up with more washing up than needed be because I feel like then to mix all this into there I'm going to need a bigger pan so it's actually thickening up quite well so I've just poured another load of milk into it but um, yeah I want to talk about me and Neil I've been chatting today and we've been mentioning this for quite some time now it's really weird with our videos <laughs> like I did a walk around campsite and literally on that same day Neil did the same thing basically what's happening is there's loads of coincidences happening between either my channel travel trolls chat channel but and Neil's channel and we all keep doing sort of the same thing and the coincidences is like really and we never discuss it we never discuss what we're filming we never discuss what we're planning to do that day or how we're going to put it onto a video if we've been out together let's say and it's just so really weird it was even like the carpool karaoke the other day where we put a clip right at the beginning which is very rare we do that and it's very rare neil does that but we both then had put that at uh, that particular night I put like a clip of a coming up with us lot singing in the car all right it was different but it was similar and I don't know you have to be there to understand what I'm trying to say but the coincidences is unreal between all our videos and I promise you now we never discuss it at all what we're what we're filming for the day what we're planning to film or anything so it's or how we present it on the um, vlog either so it's quite weird conspiracy in it <sighs> right so this is actually thickening, thickening up quite well again I don't even know where to add more um, milk into that really I don't know it does seem like a lot of sauce though I suppose don't it right we'll just bring it up to the proper boil and um, we'll see now I've just got a weird feeling 
talking about this um, sort of coincidence between our videos. And we've always spoke about this. It's so weird. But I bet, and we've never mentioned it, we've never sort of mentioned it. And I bet now that I've mentioned it, Neil might mention it on his video. I've got a feeling he might. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how much of a con um, what's the word coincidence this is going to be. <laughs> he might not have done. Right, let's try and get that in there. That did thicken up quite well. I don't feel I want to add any more. Um, definitely don't really want to add any more sauce. Uh, milk, sorry. Oh, this is getting really messy. Do you know what I'm going to do? Put this lot in here and then actually wash this out and start fresh. <laughs> ah, it's going everywhere. Oh, no. Don't worry, I'm not wasting it. I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh, well, I'm wasting that one. That one landed on the floor. Yeah, I'm going to have to wash this uh, dish out. I don't like mucky things like that. That's That'll bug me. Right. Scrape all the tuna out, though. Pick those two up. Right, we need to try and stir this properly, don't we? Get it mixed. So I'm just washing up to clear up some space, and then we can... Um, crack on but it just brought to mind that I always remember it was quite a long time ago now so I can't actually remember your name and I'm really really sorry and I took note of it and, and everything what's happened to that I don't know um basically somebody in my comments has said that they learned how to do my spicy fried rice and now they have it all the time with the family it is such a cheap a tasty dish honestly you can either have it on its own or um, literally pull it with something else steak anything whatever you're having but yeah i was really i don't know i was really pleased to hear that because that's actually a personal family sort of recipe that we've always used seems really strange recipe but we've always done it growing up we used to always have it as well and um yeah so well done you i can't remember your name and i'm really 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 sorry but i'm glad you gave it a go and you actually enjoy it and now it's become one of your family dishes and if you have no idea what i'm talking about you'll probably have to look back on one of my videos i don't know where it might be but it might not be too long before i might make it again anyway so mazzy's a spicy fried rice well actually we used to call it granddad's uh, fried rice so special fried spicy rice <laughs> oh, I've got a fly in here it's all I need right nearly there but at this stage I want to shout a, a channel out now this lady is lovely I've actually been watching her I'd say nine months but maybe actually even longer <clears throat> If you can get over and subscribe to her, check her out. Just check her out. She's so lovely. She's like a Yorkshire. Well, I say she's Yorkshire lass, but that's where she's living now. I don't think. I think she's from Manchester or somewhere like that. But she just sits out in the garden. She'll do lives basically. Uh, she'll talk to her, her bunny. She's she's she absolutely loves her bunny rabbits. She has about. I think about eight of them or something and she also has like a little guinea pig she calls Ninny and it's so cute and but anyway right so she'll do lives um, at the moment she'll just sort of sit out at the moment and um, she's got her son out there as well and they'll just just chat they just chat it's live chats so if you do go over to her go over to her last live and say Mazzy Mazzy from the Travel Trolls uh, sent you yeah, my way and please subscribe to her give her a chance she's really really good and if there's anything new on the news and stuff like that she's bang on it and she will sort of do all three joes on the news and actually she does all sorts of things she does like paranormal as well because she actually has another channel as well but i won't go down that road once you subscribe to penny bunny is her channel and then um, try and figure that out. Um, just see if you like her first before I tell you about her other channel. 
And please, yeah, please do go over and subscribe to her. It was actually her birthday yesterday, yesterday so happy birthday, Bunny. Penny. <laughs> I keep wanting to call her Bunny, but it's Penny. But yeah, please go over to her and say that Mazzy from the Travel Trolls have, has sent you. Um, she'd really appreciate that. Um, yeah, she picks up on like all big sort of news topics as well when it comes in. Um, you know, she'll do like all different cases, whether it be whatever it is. But go over and check her channel out, out anyway. So, right, anyway, <laughs> I need to catch my breath. I've been running around chasing a fly, so I think he's gone now. Um, he's a he's a goner, basically. <laughs> right, so I'm going to get my mix. Let's get my mix into here. Now, it does say then to mix um, breadcrumbs with your cheese, which I'm not going to do as such. I'm not going to mix it, but I will. I have got kind of like breadcrumbs. They're not, they're kind of like the same coating you'd put on a scotch egg. Now, I never would have thought that you would have needed that for this dish, but that's what it says on the packet. So, and I've got some, so I may as well use it. Now let's fill this up. I hope it's not too much now. That's well mixed now, actually. I did the right thing in getting this big saucepan. No trouble. Oh, he's going to really love this tonight. It's better than buying another meal, though, isn't it? <laughs> I was speaking to um, Killer Dave the other day. He was here on his own. And we were talking about tuna bake or something. Oh no, I'd asked him what he was what he had for dinner last night because he was here on the uh, on his own. His missus uh, then turned up and surprised him the next day. The lovely Julie, and he was like, "Oh, I had a tuna bake," and he does actually usually cook. And then I was like, "Oh, Dan's having that this week," and I said to him, "Oh, did you home make it though?" No, we bought it from Aldi. <laughs> But it don't matter, when you're on your own, I can understand. But still saying that, if you're on your own, that's still just as easy to make. But he was on he was on his holiday, so uh, there, I don't know why I went in the knife and fork drawer just then. Yeah, he was on his holiday, so just as easy to get a one meal from Aldi. Right, so what I'm going to do is sprinkle the cheese on. Now, I don't really have a lot left grate the cheese on and then sprinkle that in amongst it I think I'm not a hundred percent sure on that I'm sure I've made this before for Dan and I never bothered with breadcrumbs but we'll see how it goes and then all it needs doing is banging in the oven I don't know 20 minutes half an hour I don't know and I'll just do that then when Dan wants his dinner There we go, got the cheese on. I might add some more. But I just thought of a coincidence, actually, as we were talking about coincidences, right? So I did recently just go to my family's house. Um, and going back to this Penny Bunny that I'm asking you to please just go and subscribe to. I was talking to my twin sister. Now, there are so many coincidences between me and her throughout our lives. I can tell you loads of stories. But apparently she subscribed to her as well. I don't even know where that came from. So, yeah, she subscribed to her as well. So that was a bit of a coincidence. <laughs> yeah, please go over and subscribe and check her out anyway. She's such a lovely lady. Do you know what I think I might do, actually? Just top that up with a light piece of cheese now. A light dusting because I think there's quite a bit on that now. And then, yep, yeah, all ready to bang in the oven. And don't worry, I'm not going to be doing too many cooking vlogs. It just so happens that that's what I'm doing today. But don't worry, I still have a lot to talk about. <laughs> I haven't shut up today, have I? Right, I think that's it for that. Right, I'm going to save this tiny little bit of cheese. Um, now, I do have this other cheese. But I might actually put a sprinkling on as well. Where are you? It's like Italian sort of. Um, it's like a, it's only a cupboard one. Is 
I think I might put that on just for extra flavour though, you know? All right, there we go, just a tiny bit. Right, I need to clear up. Job done. Bang easy, dinner's almost ready. I'm right, just gonna just clear it up a little bit. Going to, oh, I can't click this on. That'll do. Just going to wash up my few little bits. But before I go, yeah, I've got some trays that I've used and I do try and uh, wash those out. I know they're disposable. If they're really trashed, I don't, um, you know, if it's really trashed basically, but these ones, I know I can revive those. So I do rewash those. Um, yeah, don't ever be afraid of cooking in your motorhomes or your little fans. It's, um, or at home, <laughs> you know. A small, a small space doesn't mean to say you've got to have a small meal. Doesn't mean to say you've got to live on beans on toast. Um, a quick little story for you. Like my mum used to. Oh, <laughs> my mum used to have motorhomes. I think at one point she had about three or four at the time. Um, just before she died, bless her. And she loved travelling in her motorhome. That, that, that was her life. Yeah, I think they had about three or four of them by the time the... Just before she died. And my father used to always say, um, oh, she'll be out there now eating beans on toast and stuff like that. <laughs> Which I think it's like everyone assumes that that's what everyone eats. But I'll tell you what. My mother, she was actually a good cook and she uh, that was one thing I'll praise her for. She always did cook sort of for the family and stuff like that. Let me just kind of get some washing up liquid. And um, going, on a, going away basically in a motorhome didn't stop her. <laughs> she was too tight to ever, <laughs> to ever sort of get takeaways and stuff like that. I always remember actually, this is another little story. I was about 16 and I always remember my mum was going off to work and I'd always ask her to drop me off at the pub. It was the greats in Bury St Edmunds. And then I used to say to her, on your way home then, come pick me up. Because we lived out of Bury at that time with my mum. This ain't with me father. Um, so yeah, we lived out at Bury St Edmunds. I stayed I used to live with my mum for a little while. And I used to say to her, come pick me up on your way home. She hated it, absolutely hated it. And I always remember one time, I got a kebab to bring home, living out on the sticks like. And she, she never had a kebab. She probably never in her whole life had a McDonald's, if I'm quite honest. I know she'd uh, enjoy like uh, Indian and stuff like that now and again. I know she had them, but no, she didn't know what a kebab was. And I remember I sat up, I went up to her double bed, sat up in the bed with her, and I got her to try this, um, on a kebab with me I was like mum you'll love this though you'll absolutely love this and then um yeah she liked it and while we were eating dirty kebab <laughs> we were listening to, I think it was um the cranberries and we were listening to the cranberries it was such a special moment I'll never forget and yeah just a quick little story for you let me turn that water off yeah I don't know where I was going with this, <laughs> but I've ended up telling you a story about um, me and my mum enjoying a dirty donna kebab. I can tell you another little story just, just come to mind as well. I always remember when, um, yeah, so I'll tell you another little story. We were, um, my mum was on the way to work. We were going down the A14 or A45. I can't remember what it is. Is it the A14 now? But it used to be the A45. Anyway, she was off to work. And she got a flat puncture tyre on her car. And we had to pull over. I had this really long... I was a skinny mini, right? Skinny mini back in the days. And I used to wear this really long leather coat. Um, it was vintage. I wish I'd kept that. And it was vintage when I get, got given it as well. Given it by a family member. Um, but I love that coat. It's starting to rain now. So Dark Dan's going to be long. So I'm just going to clear up now anyway. 
I keep talking. Yeah, so anyway, we had to stop and um, I changed the tyre for her. Uh, she couldn't understand how I knew how to change tyre. I mean, it was practically easy, really, but... Yep, not one man stopped for us. Not one person stopped for us. <laughs> Seen two women at the side of the road, broken down with a flat tyre. It was all good. I dealt with it and got me mother to work on time. No, we were late, but <laughs> got me mother to work. Right, anyway, that's another of my stories. I haven't stopped talking today. I have no idea why. It's just one of those days. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to finish cleaning up here and I'm going to see you again tomorrow, no doubt, because tomorrow's a new day. And don't forget, I love y'all. Take care. Love y'all. See you tomorrow. Bye.